some of Cutting's best horses and riders tussled it out for the Open Classic Challenge Championship at the 2018 Summer Spectacular. I'm with the man of the moment, James Payne, who scored a massive 229. Congratulations to you, and how does it feel to score a run like that? Really good. But hey, before I start, I gotta thank Nadine, because last time um, I did an interview, I didn't thank her, <laughs> and they've been like giving me shit about it, so <laughs> my wife Nadine, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm sure you'll get rewarded when you get home. <laughs> now, um, tell us about your run tonight. Give us a play-by-play, -play because um, it was such a great run. Um, tell us about, you know, what you talk about with your help, how each cow felt, that kind of thing. Well, in the first, um, oh, the, the, I was in the first bunch too, and I cut too much cow, and so it kind of, uh, I wasn't real sure where to go with it and stuff like that, so I wanted to kind of cut something in between too soft and not being able to mark something and, and um, being um, too risky to where it took me out. And so I, I felt like that, you know, like John and, and, and Josh were, were great in helping me find the cows. I mean, we, we cut what we wanted to cut, even the third cow that we chipped. It was something we talked about and knew it kind of needed to be clean. So. Well, and it really felt like it built each cow, yeah. the crowd's um, momentum. They got really yeah. into it. And yeah. by that third cow, they were going wild. Yeah. It was almost tangible. Yeah. Does, does, it, does it lift you up? How does it feel? What, what do you experience? I uh, just a big adrenaline rush. It's really cool. <laughs> does it make a difference to you to your showing? Does it help uh, or does it... Um, you're yeah, so in the zone. Well, yeah, it gets you kind of kicking a little harder. Just hope you don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, now this is the third time you've won in here in this pen. Right. That's extraordinary. What's your trick? What's your skill here? What's what's the secret with this particular event? I guess it just takes me this long to get them where I can win on them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got Serena Dole, she was six whenever I won the, won the derby on her, and then um, we, uh, once my boon was six, and this one's six. I, I would like to, there's been several times I thought I could, um, could have won another event on him and just little stuff happened, little bobbles here and it was just meant to be here. Yeah. I felt like I took a big risk cutting and chipping my third cow with 30 seconds and and, um, and it was a risky cow and, and it paid off. It could also have bitten me in the rear and, and I could have went home pouting so yeah. it, it worked. Now there was no semi-final for this event this year. Right. Um, in fact you had to kind of get really a couple of 219s which is pretty tough right. to, to progress. Right. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Does it add some pressure or is that just competition? I think it's just competition. I mean, I think it's, it's the way it should be. Oh, yeah. I'm, I think, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now, um, your horse, PG Heavily Armed. How long you had this horse? Um, I've had him probably since the fall of his two year old year, I believe. So, 160,000, the horse has won. Right. Uh, five or six year old? He's six. Tell us what this horse has been like to train, how this horse has developed. Like to me, he's a typical play gun, and, and I like I rode a lot of play guns, and I like play guns. They're very strong, physical. They usually um, get better the, the longer they, you know, the, longer, the older they get, the more maturity. Um, he's always been really physical, uh, stopped hard, moved hard, tried tried his guts out every time. Um, if anything, as a young horse, he might make it. Uh, might be just to make too big of a move, but as he's gotten older, he's gotten smarter and and, and just turned into a true blue cow horse that you can kind of go hold the tough cow on. Now, you did have another horse tonight in the first set. It didn't work out. What's your strategy in that sense when you've, you've got a second horse? Do you just lay it all out there? Well, like we, uh, me and Josh Townsend, we set up top after I went and kind of watched what cows were being good, just trying to get a feel for the cows. Because I think the cows, the cows are a little different feel, had a little different feel to them tonight, and they're just, just trying to make sure we got cut good cows. So on that, why do you think they feel differently? Do you think the temperatures come into play when it's 110 outside? Yeah. Does that make a difference? Yes, I, I, I think so. I mean, I think, I think the heat and, and just a little bit the noise and the excitement and everything like that, it, it kind of makes them get a little lively or a little testier, maybe a little harder to get a hold of. And also, it would have to be a challenge for getting your horse ready. I mean, they're athletes, but they're standing out in that heat for, yeah. you know, most of the day. Right. How do you make sure that they've got everything to give when it comes to showing? Like, well, I mean, just just try to make sure, kind of keep them cool, rinse them off, take care of them. Um, just, just normal horsemanship. 
Yeah. And what have you got for the Derby? Um, I've got um, uh, two horses. I've got a, um, uh, a debut artist, Cat Smart Gilden, for Kathleen Moore, that um, I made the Super 6 finals on. And I've got a, a um, Cat Key Masterson mare for John Johnson. Well, good luck with that, oh, and you. congratulations for tonight. It was oh, thank fantastic. You. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Plenty more cutting tomorrow, and of course, another final of the non pro classic challenge. Make sure you're watching the webcast tomorrow. It's all live. Good night.